Hey everyone, in the last video uh, we have forked the collection of the postman from the PayPal and in this video I'll show you how you can get the authorized token from the PayPal. So when you fork the collection or uh, even you are sending a request uh, to get the token from your application, you need to send the client ID and the client secret that you have on your PayPal account. Okay. If you recall from the previous videos, I have created the application on the PayPal and uh, they just uh, give me the client ID and client secret. So if I send request now, you can see it said the invalid client and client authentication failed and it's giving me the 401 unauthorized error. Okay. So <coughs> let's search the client ID and the client secret so if you can see the environments i'm using the paypal override environments uh, it's uh, attached with when you fork the collection so go to the environments and select on this so now i need to set these client id and client secret so for this let me go to the my paypal account and my apps technical voice and here is the client ID so copy it and paste here and paste here as well and then again copy the secret so this is a secret and paste it out oops there Okay, and hit on save now let me send the request okay you can see that now we can get the access token okay also let's uh, let me uh, create a product for you so let's create a product so go to the body and its name is t-shirt we need to select the type and id uh, description category whatever the body requirement is let me send it so it sends the 201 uh, response that means the product has successfully created so if i go to list my products so I have one product which is the t-shirt okay so that's how you can play with the postman uh, and send and uh, get the request so in the next video uh, I will create a product and then create a plan and then we will uh, see that how recurring payments work uh, but I will only show you in uh, using the paypal and then in later videos we will integrate and see that how we can uh, call the rest apis of the paypal uh, from the c sharp or from the dotnet application and you can use that code in any framework either it's a dotnet framework 4.5 uh, in in dotnet core or in the latest uh, version for example dotnet 6 or dotnet 7 because we are not going going to use any paypal sdk we will use the http client and also if you're not a uh, dotnet developer uh, you can get the idea that how to send and uh, get the response of the paypal thanks bye bye